Have you ever wondered why pest control businesses fail? Today, we'll go over eight reasons, and you're not going to want to miss number eight because it's probably the number one reason why most businesses fail. First off, let's start with some statistics, shall we? Did you know that about half of all small businesses fail within the first five years, with many of those failing in the first couple of years? And nine out of 10 will probably fail before their 10th year. So how do we keep your pest control business from becoming one of those statistics? There is a power in learning from others, so let's take a look at these eight reasons most pest control businesses fail. Number one, having an employee mindset versus a business owner mindset. Remember, you are creating a business, not just a job for yourself, and way too many small business owners approach their business from a job mentality. Yes, you are doing pest control work, but you are a small business owner who happens to own a pest control business. It is critical that you identify as the business owner, not just the pest tech. For many of you, you are the only person in your business. Therefore, you wear the employee hat as well as the business owner hat. So it's easy to get lost in the employee mindset. I'm sure you have heard of the saying working in your business versus on your business. The employee works in the business. The business owner works on the business. When a business owner spends all of their time working in the business, then the business begins to fail due to no one taking the reins on where the business is going. And more importantly, no one is looking out for the profitability of the business. The second problem with having an employee mindset versus a business owner mindset comes when you are making decisions. An employee will solve the problem of the moment, but a business owner needs to solve not only the current problem, but think of a longer term solution. Business owners are constantly improving the business's processes. When the business owner is thinking like an employee, the business tends to just exist versus having a clear vision on where it's going and focusing on constant improvement. Number two, paying yourself incorrectly in the business. As I mentioned, you are wearing two hats in your pest control business. Therefore, you are also being paid two different ways in the business, especially if you are doing employee work in the business, which most of you typically are. In the beginning, most small business owners tend to pocket what money is left at the end of the day after paying their expenses. As the business grows, they tend to take out a flat monthly fee out of the business each week. However, keep in mind, usually this money is actually employee wages for doing the work. The business owner you should be paid out of the profits of the business. Just because you're taking money each month doesn't mean you're being paid as a business owner as the business might not be as profitable as you think. Businesses fail when they focus on this employee income versus creating a business that pays you both as the employee and as the business owner. The pest control businesses that fail have typically created a job for themselves versus creating a solid business. It is critical that you pay yourself a fair wage as the employee in your business. It is just as critical that you focus on the profitability of the business, creating an owner's wage as well. It is only after you are able to pay yourself both ways are you considered a successful business that can beat the odds, which leads us to the third most common reason pest control businesses tend to fail, pricing their services incorrectly. A huge mistake that pest control businesses make is how they price their services. When our pricing is off, we end up making less money for the business. Keep in mind this simple formula for your business, sales minus cost of goods minus expenses equals profits. This is the basic flow of money through your business. And since sales is the first part of our formula, it is safe to say that it all starts with pricing correctly. Way too many pest control businesses undervalue their services, costing them profits. They fail to account for the right amount of costs, expenses, but also that employee wage, as well as owner's profits. But profits aren't the only thing that bad pricing impacts. When you are priced incorrectly, you will end up working longer and longer hours chasing new sales to pay the bills, and soon burnout will set in. When this happens, so does the realization that it was easier to just work for someone else. After struggling to make ends meet and working 60, 70 hours a week, the pest control business owner closes the doors. The goal of pricing isn't to be the cheapest. This isn't a race to the bottom. It is about charging correctly for the value you provide. While most pest control companies can take care of your rats, spiders, and raccoons, not all of them can do it in the way that you can. It could be your skill level, your service, your hours, or any special sauce you bring to the table. But you need to know your value. Stand out above the others and charge accordingly. This isn't a pricing video, so if you want to learn more about pricing, I'll put a link below as I have other videos to help you with your pricing. Please make sure that you are pricing correctly. You really need to make sure that you are being paid as both the pest tech and the business owner. It is the single biggest mistake that many small business owners make. Number four, not being crystal clear on who your ideal customer is. Yes, you want to serve every customer that has a pest problem, and you want to make sure that everybody uses your business over your competition. But if you approach it this way, you're going to end up serving no one. 
Even worse, you will get every person under the sun who only wants your cheap services because you haven't set the stage for who you would love to serve. Think of it this way. There are pest control businesses that specialize in monthly services that keep out the spiders and bugs and others that target specific larger critters that they can get rid of. They would target different customers because they each have different needs. Will you do monthly, bi-monthly, or annual services? Will you focus on bugs or rats or raccoons? What do you want to be known for? Will your pest control business focus on property management companies, hotels, or other commercial businesses? Will you hook up with realtors to help getting their sellers' homes ready or for buyers that are looking to have a new service set up? Who do you want to serve? Know who you want to focus on and solve their problems. Be their specialist. By being a specialist, you can charge more. There's a reason why a brain surgeon, a heart doctor, and others can make more money than the family doctor. You get the idea. The more you narrow down, the bigger the following you can create without having to spend tons of money on advertising and trying to find new customers. If you chase everyone, you might just end up with the types of customers that you don't want to serve. There's a lot of people out there that do what it is that you do. How will you be the go-to pest control business that everyone wants to use? Focus your attention and energy on those you want to serve. Now, the fifth reason pest control businesses fail is they expand beyond their local community way too soon. The average business has thousands of homes within 5 to 10 miles of their location. However, in a bid to grow the business, they mistakenly chase business 30 to 60 minutes out of the area, thus driving up their costs, the wear and tear on their vehicles, and lost jobs due to being on the road. Another thing way too many business owners try to do is jump to a new city and try to expand to get more business when the reality is there's plenty of business close to home. Just think about how many homes are within a 15-minute drive from where you are. Depending upon your location, there might be tons of homes in the area that have a pest problem they want to solve. The typical pest business will only help out between 3 and 5% of their local area. What if you could get that up to just 15%? That's more than doubling your business and sometimes tripling your business. Trust me, there's plenty of business in your hometown. Quit spending time, energy, and resources and gas and wear and tear on your vehicle to go everywhere under the sun. Businesses fail when they chase business that does not help their bottom line, and business outside of your immediate area comes at a cost. And while you might gain more sales, those extra costs hit your profitability. And as we have discussed, without profit, the business fails. Focus on a smaller area, and I promise you, word of mouth will get out, and you'll start getting other people that want to come see you, especially if you focus on that ideal customer we discussed earlier. Now, the sixth reason why pest control businesses fail is poor communication with your customers. One of the most overlooked items that kill a small business is poor communication. How many times have you and a customer butted heads over something that turned out to be a communication problem? But this type of communication problem isn't the only issue that can hurt your pest control business. How often are you staying in touch with your past clients? This is a great way to encourage returning customers and guarantee future sales. Not to mention top of mind awareness when the friends call needing a referral. Have you ever called a business and never got a call back? How often does this happen in your business? Do you have a message that tells folks you'll call them back within 24 hours or more importantly, do you actually do it? How do you handle those emergency situations? Yes, not all things are emergencies, but if someone has a scary, hairy raccoon in their house with small children, then it is an emergency. There are a ton of businesses that have websites that have an email for potential clients to reach them. Yet this email doesn't either work or no one ever reaches back to you. This happens to me all the time. Heck, I have attempted to use small businesses that do not respond to either email or phone calls. Then they wonder why their business isn't making any money and it will soon fail. By the way, poor communication happens with employees as well. Owners failing to communicate clear expectations to their team often leads to a loss in business and profits. Good communication also helps you stand out from your competition as well. I love all the business that I have received over the years due to my competition being horrible at communication. It has led to thousands of dollars in my pocket. Never underestimate the power of good communication to lead to more business and profits. All right, number seven, not paying their taxes. For many of you, you are used to your old company taking the taxes out of your paycheck and paying the IRS. The challenge that happens with most business owners is they fail to set aside the money each month for their taxes. Then tax time rolls around and they scramble to find the money they need to pay their taxes. If your state requires you to collect taxes with each sale, please make sure that you pay that each month. It is not your money as it belongs to the government. You are just a holding center for that money. One of the key things that you can do is to make this a habit. Have a separate bank account to hold the money so you are ready to go. If you want to learn more about your business taxes, check out my tax video to learn more. I'll link that below as well. Okay, the biggest reason pest control businesses fail is found in the eighth reason, which is not knowing or understanding their business numbers. 
Okay, folks, let me tell you, businesses fail for a variety of reasons, but one of the biggest reasons is due to not knowing their business numbers. If a business owner knows their business numbers, they are more likely to react to problems way before they become profit killers. They are smarter about how they spend their business profits, and they ensure that they get a return on any money that they spend. They tend to price better and they tend not to chase sales that they shouldn't be chasing. Earlier, I shared my number one calculation that I think all small business owners need to know. Sales minus cost of goods minus expenses equals profits. This is the basis of all business numbers. It is the flow of money through your business. Understanding your profit and loss statement ensures you know where your hard-earned money is going. It is your business's report card. Businesses fail when they shoot from the hip day after day without looking at the numbers and understanding what is the best decision they should make. Everything you do in your business will be tied to your numbers. This doesn't mean you need to memorize anything other than sales minus cost of goods minus expenses equals profits. A calculator is your best friend, and you can look up anything else that you need to know. But there is a power in looking at your business trends. What does each March look like? How are your sales spread out across the months? What are they telling you? When should you be preparing for the next season? The list goes on and on. Want to purchase a new piece of equipment? Great. Use your numbers to determine what type of return you need to get off that equipment to break even. Just like words in a book tell you a story, so do the numbers of your business. You just want to learn what story your business numbers are telling you. I know you want to run a very profitable pest control business. Remember, your business has one job, to be profitable. Yes, you need to provide a great service with amazing customer service, but in order for the business not to fail, you must also make money. Your business numbers are the key to you not making simple mistakes that can lead to your pest control business having to close its doors. I give you my promise I will continue to create more videos that will help you understand your business numbers better. I'll even have a link to an affordable course in the show notes for those of you that don't want to go hunting for all the videos. Listen, I could build a list of 20 reasons pest control businesses fail, but if you focus on these eight areas, you will give yourself a fighting chance to beat the statistics and have a thriving business. For more videos to help you grow your pest control business, don't forget to hit subscribe and click that bell. Don't forget to check out one of these other videos showing on the screen.